you can see here, Series 1 that came out uh, late last year. Mm -hmm. um, that debuted at Toys R Us, uh, Diamond Comics. Um, in February, it's actually debuting at uh, Walmart. And, and that's then the display in March, box? it's coming to GameStop. Wow. So it's really expanding our retailer base for that. That's um, great. So this is our original packaging that we had at Toys R Us and Diamond. And then at Walmart, we see it in these side, sidekick displays and smaller packaging. That's the nice. Will that be on like a side, side of the side cap you were saying? Like at the yeah. end of the aisles? It's yeah. not quite an end cap. It's kind of around the corner from there. Yep. Not in line with the rest of the aisles. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. Yeah. And then at uh, GameStop, they'll be in a PDQ tray. Is that like uh, by the cash register or uh, like an impulse sort of thing? Or how yeah, it, okay. usually up on the counter. Yep. Very good. That's good placement. <laughs> Very nice. And so they've been doing well for, uh, for the company, I would yeah. imagine. That's uh, great. TV series especially has been selling really well. Good. Yeah, that's why we're expanding and everyone, they know how hot the show is and even... Uh, yeah, we were concerned about Walmart taking it because of the material. But, yeah, uh, I'm actually they know gonna... it's just so hot that everyone wants it. <laughs> they want they want, they want to make a little it. get a little taste of the action there. But they, that's yeah. a good point because sometimes Walmart's a little reluctant to do more edgy sort of stuff. Right. So that's great. But if all their customers are asking for it, <laughs> they'll listen. Yeah, that really helps us. Good. Great, that's exciting. What um, what was the timing you were saying about those side caps kind of showing up? Uh, Walmart uh, should be hitting any day now. Oh, great. Um, okay. Late February, I would say. Great. And then early March for GameStop. Okay, that's fantastic. I mean, right when, as soon uh, as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good timing. Okay. And then uh, one of the TV figures are continuing later this year in okay. October with Series 2. Okay, so we got a new version of Rick Grimes, uh, we'll some Shane Walsh, and then we've updated to three zombies instead of two. So we're bringing back Bicycle Girl from Season 1, and then the RV Zombie that attacked Andrea in Season 2 pilot, and Well Zombie from Virtuous Farm. A couple of the more memorable zombies, and Bicycle Girl just a classic in the TV series and the comic. Mm -hmm. All right, great. And that's, that'll be all for the whole uh, for series two there? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Great. Fantastic. And are those, were those pictures in this cabinet back here behind me? I started looking, uh, the cabinet but I, I haven't was, looked. Uh, comic series one and TV series one. Okay. And then we've also got the prototype of the season two DVD case we're doing. Great, great. And so that's a limited edition item. Uh, it'll contain the three disc Blu-ray set of all of season two. And it's based on the RV zombie from season two, episode one. Okay. You actually open the case by twisting the screwdriver. <laughs> that is, that is great. And then the head flips back to reveal oh my God. the DVDs inside. That is pretty wild. And it's actually go. based off, as you can see, the actual uh, makeup bust that we got from Greg Nicotero. Oh, his candy design all right. Room. Great. So, so this we're is able to like... scan that and make it completely accurate. And bring it to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Looks great. That is truly some innovative packaging. It brings you into the show and makes you attack a zombie to get it what you want. <laughs> yeah, we, should, we should all get to do that like once a day. Fantastic. And then I guess if we're, it looks like maybe we can sneak back and see some uh, Halo. For Halo, Halo is really exploding this year. It's been doing great for us. Um, so the Halo 6 is for you. So we got Reach Series 6 coming out mm -hmm. right now. And then that'll actually be the last series of Halo Reach. Uh, this summer, we're starting uh, the transition to Halo 4. Okay. Great. So we've got a couple sneak previews of our Halo 4 line here. We've okay. got the, uh, to a prototype of Master Chief that yeah. moves back to us. Oh, okay, great. And Sorry, then went the wrong way. Production size Master Chief facing us. Okay. Uh, so he'll be doing oh, a six inch oh, figure. The ones right now are up. I was going to say, like, what is it? Yeah, no, that's awesome. It would be up $3.99. We're going to make it like a little bit. But this is going to be for us. Um, and then, yeah, there's some of the other packs. So we do the six inch figures. We're introducing that nine inch sort of box set. Might not be continuing with the two packs and three packs. Size. So, so that so that's not a two up or anything. That's actually the shelf size. Yeah, the cryo tube is actual size. And then, then you were saying this figure here. Is that is that the up to do? Is that you were saying how the size is? Uh, the one facing us, that's actual size. The one, the one away from us is yeah, just a double size. Probably. Okay, that was like holy cow. That's yeah. a uh, that's a big figure. Okay. Yeah, okay. no plans for a twelve inch. Yeah. Oh, I, I noticed that's this prototype too. Is it okay? It's on the video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as long as you get prototype. Yeah. Sign. Right. Prototype. <laughs> Yeah, I, these these look fantastic. I like the uh, yeah the accessory place. That's are really cool. Very nice. Great detail as always. So we've got our Reach Series Six and Halo Anniversary figures down here. Okay. Uh, so some of these for Reach Six, like the Team Objective set. Uh, I believe the Spartan Command is for Series Five. We're introducing the Generator set with Spartan JFO there. Um, we got the Brute Major and. 
part of the invasion of Hat. I like Series 6 there. Okay. A little bit of Anniversary 2. So we introduced Anniversary 1 last year mm -hmm. for the 10th anniversary of the Halo franchise. Let's continue with Anniversary 2. So we got Captain J. The Keys and Spirit of Fire Red Team pack. Uh, therefore, they're going to be the figures. And just like Series 1, you're going to have a build a figure for Connor with him as well. Great. So uh, Great. in Series 2, if you get all five of those, you can build a 3D version of UNSC Lego. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, I really like the, uh, the build a figure from last year with the like, difficulty uh, symbol. It's really cool. Very yeah, clever. a lot of people really like that. Uh, so we definitely can continue that in Series 2 and beyond. Now, I know when we talked last year, we were talking about these glorious large-scale ships and kind of, you know, hoping to find a home for them and whatnot. I might have missed them, and that'd be sad, but what's the status of these guys? Um, well, still kind of looking for a retailer partner for those, or did they actually come out somewhere and I totally spaced on it? Uh, unfortunately, they didn't come out. Okay. Uh, they were just a little bit too big for the retailers. Yeah. Yeah. Things about 30 inches, and they've taken up the room with all of our box sets. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's so great, you know, every, every you know, uh, yeah. any, hopefully. All the fans really want it, but the retailers, it's just a little too big for them. What? Do you have any idea about what the price point would need to be? Because it's so big. Like, if you guys could keep it at a reasonable price even, that's, like, amazing. The retailer hasn't picked it up, but I just I imagine it would have to be expensive at that scale, you know? Yeah, they would like, have been at least over, like, over 100. Yeah, we're thinking, we're going to try to keep it under 100, but it would have been around there. It would have to be, yeah, like, 99, 99. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> but even if you could do that, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. And we are looking into doing, like, one of them just online or something, but yeah. with... It's just such a large vehicle, the tooling costs, all the elements is just really prohibitive. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So but we did do, obviously, a ghost, the warthog, the yeah. mongoose. Yeah. Anything bigger is just, unfortunately, too big at that six-inch scale. No, just wanted to check in. It's kind of like, you know, because last year we talked about it. So, But, you know, the figures look great, and you're keeping up the same quality that I got to enjoy all last year, and it's it's great to see. So thanks a lot well, for the... Well, that's actually uh, a good segue into the yeah. Ops. Hey, all right. Good. So, in addition to the Halo 4 six-inch figures... And the universe, uh, anniversary figures, uh, anniversary turning into Halo Universe, so that's going to continue. Uh, we got the lineup for Series 1 on the back side of the okay. card there. Okay. So that's continuing. We're just changing the name since the anniversary itself is over. Cool, makes sense. But uh, another five figure lineup, the box sets, All right. and build the figures. And as for the vehicles, so as you now know, the large six inch scale vehicles are just too big to do. So that's why we're introducing Halo Micro Ops. And that's what we've got in that corner oh, there. Great. Can we go take a look at those? Fantastic. All right. So with Micro Ops, what we've done is taken the Halo Universe <laughs> and shrunken it down to approximately 1 100 scale or 15 millimeter. And so now we can finally release those large items like the Banshee, like the Falcon. We've got Scorpion tanks, Wraith tanks. Of course, we've got to have the classic Warthogs in there. Uh, we've got prototypes of the Falcon by the design group. These look really cool. It just really gives yeah. us a lot, a lot more to work with, and mm -hmm. we can bring more of the full Halo universe to the fans. And so, um, and that whole playset will be available. Yep. Wow. So now we can actually even do buildings, yeah. parts of the maps. That's the classic gate and tower area, uh -huh. high ground. Bunkers over there on the left. Uh, there's been some launchers from the back of it. Uh, we've got a bunch of accessory pieces like generators, crates, barrels. So you can really build your own diorama. Either you sort of recreate your favorite scenes from the universe or yeah. make up your own battle scene. This is really great. This is exciting. And they're also they're available since there is such a wide range of sizes between the tiny little figures, the larger vehicles, the big buildings. They're available at a number of different price points. Okay. So we'll have the small carded items for about eight bucks. Larger carded sets for about 20, and then small box sets for about 30. Okay, that, that still seems very reasonable. So you'd be able to get something like a Warthog and a Mongoose for 8 bucks. Uh, something like the Falcon is probably going to be a larger carded set. And then pieces of high ground would be more than a $30 box set range. I think that's a really great idea, though. Uh, it, looks, it looks great. A lot of fun in there. All right, and this is the... Uh, so this is uh, Anniversary Series 2? Yeah. Yeah. So is this the one that's renamed or not? It's still it's still gotcha. anniversary, okay. Yeah, we're kind of tying them together. So you got Halo Anniversary Series 1, Anniversary Series 2. They're five figures each, so there's 10 overall, 10 figures to celebrate the 10th anniversary. And I like the orange blaze. It's nice. I'm, I'm a packaging guy, so I always like when I see the touches that are done to make them stand out on the shelf from the first mm -hmm. wave. Yeah, we try to vary at least one color, one key color per series. Yeah, those look great. You can see the different pieces of the UNC logo there. Yeah, yeah. And 
be able to floor. We can't really say too much about it yet. Um, but there's a lot of really cool new stuff that we can't wait to show you. Just got to wait for Microsoft to break it first. Right, yeah. Any idea when they're going to get around to that? Or, uh... Uh, I'll say definitely around E3. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, so Halo Anniversary will continue as Halo and Universe. There's, there's the universe, right. Gotcha. And so the builder figure for the first series of that is actually the Halo ring itself. Very classic piece. Yeah. Important to the Halo mythos. All right. And I'll make sure to look at the... Uh, artwork you had up front there too but they're all represented so let's see uh, eight, eight figures in this oh, there will be four to set and then four coming later in the fall great yep fantastic and then we're also introducing uh, like I said the nine inch uh, box sets mm -hmm. for the larger scale items such as Master Chief Prayer yep. 2 or if there are any larger characters like a hunter I'm not saying there is a hunter in Halo 4 but nope. if there is a big character like that we can actually do those in scale with the six inch figures without trying to cram them into a tiny little understood <laughs> understood <laughs> and then uh, then that then Series 6 on the end there yep. Halo Reach Series 6 that's right. in stores now yep <laughs> not my stores yet <laughs> I live in upstate New York we get everything like a month it's later it's just starting yeah. yeah. okay Sweet in, in bigger cities <laughs> Awesome. They look great. So we've got the center six inch figures there, and then some of our three packs. Mm. And this multi, multi pack is just fantastic. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. It turned out really cool. It really does. Well, uh, pretty good distribution on that, or uh, how's that going to see? Um, um, on the three packs, those are pretty big. Uh, those are on mass retailers. The number team six pack there was a uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the generator defense set, that's also live, and then that's coming along. Okay. Well, everything looks fantastic. Did we did we get it all? And there's one other piece. All right. So expanding in one more direction. Um, so we've got our six-inch figures, which are about twelve to fourteen bucks MSRP. Um, starting to introduce lower price point items, which that's really what a lot of people are looking for these days. Uh, the micro ops, small carded sets, those are about eight bucks. But um, back up the display case. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And that is the Pro Avatar. Yes. <laughs> so these are little two and a half inch tall, blind boxed, sort of simplified, stylized cartoon figures mm -hmm. based on the way that uh, Halo apparel and costume items appear on Xbox Live and the Avatar. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so each one uh, comes in three pieces. The head, torso, and legs are separate. So you can mix and match them and create your own custom avatar. Each one comes in its own uh, custom Halo themed cylinder capsule. Uh, so you can take off the top and bottom of those, use them on those uh, figure display base, and you can actually connect the, cap the uh, cylinders in the middle to form either taller displays or sort of a capsule carrying tube. Very versatile. That is very, very cool. All and right. the MSRP on these, under three bucks. Under three dollars. That is solid. All right. The line looks great. Thank you for the tour.